Kelly, the coronavirus is hitting the home builders. 96% of builders polled by the National Association of Home Builders said it was hurting buyer traffic, and 72% said it was a major problem. More than three quarters cited problems with the willingness of workers to report to projects. Still, analysts at Raymond James point to outstanding housing fundamentals through February and said if the outbreak of COVID-19 infection is contained soon, perhaps the deepening shortage of available housing inventory might help U.S. home values remain resilient in this recession. Eventually, we think a rapid reacceleration in home building activity could help provide a much needed booster shot for the U.S. economy in the recovery process. Now, Lennar, one of the nation's largest home builders, put out guidance Friday saying that while sales were obviously slowing, its balance sheet was strong and it said we are taking all appropriate steps to reduce construction costs, SG&A expenses and other cash outflows. Now, several builders have seen analyst upgrades in the past week. The only wild card, of course, now is that it's getting much harder to get a mortgage as lenders really tighten standards in response to higher risk in the market. Kelly? Yeah, we're going to talk about that in a moment. Diana, though, what's with the big declines today for the ITB and the rest of the, the space? Well, that's the broader market, you know, the declines on that. But we're actually seeing the ITB over the last five days up over 6%. So while it's falling with the rest of the market today, it has been pretty strong over the last week. And that's because mortgage rates are falling back down again. Harder to get a mortgage, but rates are lower. And the builders are seeing some demand, though a lot less traffic. And for the builders, actually, some are, are experimenting with drive-through closings. So they're really working to make that process easier. Yeah, especially the longer this goes on. Dana, thanks. We appreciate it. Diana Olick.